Hey, so this is the tutorial on how to do green screening with Vegas Pro 8.0 with Twizzlers. So enjoy and follow along. Hey everyone, so this is the, um, how to do the green screening effect. So first of all, you're going to want to download um, a Sony Vegas Pro 8. So to do that, you can add, you can open any of your internet browsers. Now we go for the Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Safari. I'm going to go with Safari since I really like it. So then you wanna go on go on Google. So um we can get the full version free somehow there are ways on on YouTube. You can just go look it up. There are a bunch of them. But I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, with the child. The child is basically the same but you only have to do it. So what you're gonna wanna do is download it once you click download it doesn't matter if you say run or save it'll end up with the same thing so after you download it you're gonna want to open up Vegas Pro 8.0 oh before that they're gonna um, ask you for some information and you can either give a uh, real information or fake things that's like what i did because i'm not called talk traveling i'm like what the hell so yeah so once you're here so maybe this little child you're gonna have to go and set up your green screen so as i said earlier you're gonna have to get up your screen I know my screen is different because it's blue. You might, you're probably gonna want to get one of the normal green screens because it's much easier to see yourself and easier to edit with. It's just right now, at the moment, I don't have any other colors except blue. What I'm using is a bed sheet. You know the things that you use in your bed. Because it's probably the easiest way. I just hooked it up on the bookshelves. So, you're going to have to get these, or however you want it, you can buy them, probably in media stores, electronic stores. So then, you're, you're going to want to have make a little film with it. Let's say you want to use make the iPod commercials or whatever, that's what we'll have for this uh, instance. You're going to like, do some dancing or whatever. Okay, so once we're here again, you're gonna wanna go and find the clip that you need. So you can go on import media, it's by the file. So you search for what you did. I saved it under the videos. and green screen tutorial so the dance is you know open so then you have that as a file there you drag it down to the media part 
what you can do is you can mute it and then you find a part where you find you and you can then crop it to how you want it so you can see it changes how I do it it changes on the screen also You can see how that it changes both of the times. So I'm just gonna create a good shape of a good view of me. I don't wanna sound cocky, but for this, then you just exit there and you have it cropped. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click the Event FX. What you can also do this confused me in the beginning if you can't find that you right click and you say media effects it ends up with the same thing so then you click on event effects and you get this whole option screen you're gonna want to go here and find sony chroma keyer chroma keyer then you say OK. You're gonna have to see both the screens for this. It, I've, mine has already done this because I've edited it before. What you can do is while you see your screen on the right, you can select the eyedropper and you select that color. So then it selects it, and once you click that, and once you re-click it. Okay. And then once you finally get the color, it is matching the background of there, you click it again and it'll darken it up. You can play around with the low and the high threshold and the blur amount. You can see the changes. When you exit off of it, and you see that your background of your screen is darkened. So then you click there again, and you go to the top right. You see that you go all the way to the right, and you select plugin chain. Now you have to go and find Sony. So color curves. Then you click add. You drag it until you on the screen are completely black. And it saves uh, it might not work because sometimes it might delete it. You have to make sure that it, you have unselected it so that so that it is completely black. Then you exit it and you can see that your screen is completely black. Then you go on media generators and just to first test it out you can go on solid color. And I'm gonna try blue first. You can change the color if you want. And drag it to the length that you want it and see that your image on the screen is blackened out You can just play around with that for a while so you get to know it.
you can also try doing different things like check our board and delete that and you say for example large tiles you want to have that for it